as we see Matt Banda, he wants to put serious hurt on Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He made, hey, I mean, he didn't mince words. No. He said, I want to kick the crap out of him, Rich. That's what he told us yesterday. He's no fan, he said, of, of Julio or his the people around him. I thought he wanted an autograph. <laughs> he may get it. <laughs> Matt Banda ready for action. You know, so refreshing to see that we were able to make that this re rematch was able to happen. That they were able to make this fight. That Chavez Jr. really had to do it. He had to prove to a lot of people. Here, this time at Mandalay Bay on a Saturday night in Las Vegas, that he is not a creation and a name based on his dad, that he's the genuine article. Well, I get, I'll give him credit to this extent, Nick. Is it, what, uh, well, I'll get to that in just a second. Let me get, let me get to the numbers here between the two, uh, the two fighters. We'll take a look at the tail of the tape. And there you see that uh, Chavez is still just a baby at 22. He's got the, uh, the height and the reach advantage. That bandit 30 should be right in his prime, basically. And again, these are unified rules, even though this is not a championship fight, but they're using the unified rules, same rules that we used in the earlier fights and in the championship fight. Now, getting back to the point I was trying to make there, Chavez, I give him credit, uh, Nick, because of the fact that a lot of times when fighters have a near miss against an upset-minded uh, so-called opponent. They move on. Huh? Exactly. They wave bye-bye to yeah. that guy and leave him in the rearview mirror. Chavez was man enough to give Amanda a rematch. Absolutely. You know, everybody has an excuse. It's legendary. And he said, I woke up in a cold sweat. I had a fever. I just wasn't myself. Be that as it may, Matt Amanda fought otherworldly and thought that he was robbed. And so did a lot of fans in Mexico, obviously. It was unconscionable to give every round to Chavez Jr. as one, one judge did. And the audience made that. But they made it abundantly made that clear. Up for you. <laughs> they made sure that Chavez Jr. heard their say. Yeah, the crowd turned riotous. We got the crowd tonight. We hope that won't be the case. They will get what they came for, this rematch. Matt Vanda, a walking tattoo parlor, and proud of it. His mother took him to the pet tattoo parlor for his first one, the Fighting Irish logo, and he hasn't stopped since. Won his first 31 against limited opponents, eight and seven since then. He did beat Yori Boy Campus, however faded he was. His best loss, though, was that split decision four months ago to Chavez Jr. He's got a lot of fans here, it sounds like, tonight. Oh, it man. Like they come rooting for him tonight. <laughs> what attitude. I, I mean, I love talking to him yesterday. Well, let he, me tell you, he's, he smelled it in those last couple of rounds, Nick. And Chavez was completely spent in that last round. I got to give it to the fact that he bit down and was able to finish. Rich, although uh, Vanda feels that he was robbed that six seconds were wiped off the clock the last six seconds, and that's the only reason Chavez Jr. got out with a win. Be that as it may, that was then, this is now. The Saturday night, and Chavez Jr. is here in Vegas to prove emphatically that he can destroy Matt Vanda, his tormentor. And that's what he is. Chavez, no amateur experience, going to throw at 17. This is his 39th fight in five years. You know, his name got him attention. It's all on him now. One big question as we... We listen to the mariachi and watch Chavez come into the ring. We'll see if Chavez is put under real pressure by Vanda early here tonight because those early rounds went to Chavez the last time and Vanda didn't really step it up until the second half of the fight. That's a good point. He knows that he's got to he's got to convincingly kick kick Chavez's tail. He knows it. But again, Chavez Jr., his name got him the attention, but as he told us, I'm not him, my father, I'm me. And I'm very sure of myself. 
and he said that rumors of a weight problem were not true and he made the weight in the first attempt yesterday and he did not look gaunt uh, or anything You're like right, that. Rich. Luffy Contreras will have the official introductions now. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros from the Mandalay Bay Event Center. This is Final Impact Impacto Final being brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino, Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter, and Affliction. This is the main event of the evening. Este es el combate estelar de esta noche. Ten rounds of boxing in the super welterweight division. Pactado 10 asaltos en la división peso super welter. Los jueces son, the judges are, Dick Cow, Dave Moretti, and Glenn Trowbridge. The referee, Hall of Famer. Robert Bird. Y ahora, damas y caballeros, desde Las Vegas, Nevada, veremos quién es el más macho. Presentando a la esquina azul, introducing the blue corner, sube el cuadrilátero vestido de rojo con negro y blanco. He sets into the ring wearing red trimmed in black and white. Su peso oficial, 156 libras. His official weight, 156 pounds. Su record profesional, 39 victorias, con 7 derrotas y 22 de sus victorias a través de knockout. His professional record, 39 victories, along with 7 losses, and 22 of those victories coming by way of knockout. From the east side of St. Paul, Minnesota, El Depredador, Max, the Predator, Banda. Y en la esquina opuesta, en the opposite corner, vestido en el tricolor mexicano, verde, blanco y rojo. He steps in wearing the colors of Mexico, green, white and red. Detuvo la báscula a un peso idéntico de 156 libras. He tipped the scales at an identical 156 pounds. Invicto en su carrera profesional con 37 victorias, un empate y 29 de sus victorias a través de knockout. As a professional, he is undefeated with 37 victories, one draw and 29 of his victories coming by way of knockout. La sangre de campeón corre por sus venas. Y esta noche, la leyenda continúa. Puro Culiacán, Sinaloa, México. Julio César Chávez. Father's sons, father's taken their sons since he's a son of a legend. Gentlemen, you had your instructions in the dressing room. Only thing I'm going to remind you of now, when I say stop, what that means is you stop whatever you're doing, give me a clean break. Protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. Let's do it. Gennaro pointed out a good thing or a great astute observation. I, I'm not wondering. I'm wondering if the corner of Matt Ronda would actually realize that Cesar Chavez Jr.'s right foot is heavy bandaged. Wow! I can't wait for this one. Let's see who throws the first shot. It's Vanda trying to probe the body. Make no mistake about it. Vanda, 22 KOs in 46 fights. A lot of them against limited guys. He is not a huge puncher. But man, I have never seen a more game guy and somebody who wants it more than this guy tonight. It looks like he's trying to start a little faster, trying to get a jab going here in the first round. He said, you know, that that's the consensus among his camp that he should start faster in this fight. He goes, but I'm a slow starter. I don't know if I'll be able to put the pedal to the metal right away from the opening bell. Yeah, he did so many things well in that first fight when Chavez began to slow down. He seemed to get stronger. He backed him up. 
and he wanted to make it a slugfest, guys. Yeah, he did. He actually took some pretty good shots from uh, Chavez Jr. and then and didn't go down. So obviously he feels that he could take his punches and actually go straight forward and put pressure on Chavez. Yeah, Chavez has a good overhand right as well, but he has that classic left hook to the body and Vanda. Uh, I'd say obscure waves real uh, admitted that he felt those shots the first time. Well, the best work Chavez did in that first fight was when he had Vanda up against the ropes, and that's when he unleashed that left hook to the body. And combinations, too, and he's trying to push him to the ropes right now. Well, I would like to see which Chavez Jr. is actually showing up tonight. He's been a roller coaster for his career. He has. Remember the Sol Jose Celaya fight? Uh, he's had some shaky moments. He has got a lot to prove to a lot of people. But he feels very certain. He said again, I'm very sure of myself to us yesterday. And since we're in Las Vegas, I can inform you that he is a four to one favorite here in this fight tonight. Uh -huh. well, I, I see one thing that um, I think Matt Vanda's corner should be putting an eye on. And that's the fact that when Chavez Jr. is getting ready to throw that right hand, he'll utilize the jab, utilize the jab, and then he'll drop the right hand to, to set it up. Uh huh. Chavez. Junior trying to time Vanda's rushes. He's watching him. Probes with the jab. Vanda walking in on him. Walked into a little uppercut. There Chavez gets off with that right hand. Every time he lands, crowd roars. There's the right hand off the jab. So Chavez Jr. off to the solid start. Vanda pumping a lot of air in this first round. If you notice that every that when when Tommy Jr. moves, that, that left hand of his goes down too as well. Look, every time he takes a stick, Rich. Left hook from uh, Chavez Jr. just before the bell. As we go to the corners. Give me the double. Give me the double. Rafael Hernandez and Rito are interpreting. Julio, stretch your legs. Stretch your legs, Julio. Drink some water. Julio. Julio. You won the first round, but don't let him take the initiative. When, you, when he puts your hand down, when he puts his hand down, go up there. Put that, put that double jab right hand to the bottom. Let me see Chavez with that good straight right hand. That is flush, I believe, on Vanda. Vanda didn't even take a step back. I love the fact that one thing about Chavez, it's not only the left hook happy, he's a very sharp, accurate puncher. I agree with you, Nick. I tell you, it was very calm in that Chavez corner, unlike the first fight in the he, last three rounds there. Good point. He looked good. And they want Bandit to double that jab, try to get in behind it, do some damage. Chavez definitely looks, based on the first round, looks like the harder puncher. And he is. And a little tough stop. He was a little low with the one shot. You know, in the first fight, Julio's fam famous father, Julio Cesar Chavez was sitting in one seat oh, for a couple of rounds, then he moved to another seat, then he, he moved to another seat. Then, he was, in the, then he was in the corner, right. and then he took the junior's water bottle and drank himself. <laughs> and the last three <laughs> rounds, he was in the corner up there screaming as well. So is he it? was a nervous wreck in that fight. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on him. He's ringside yeah. again this evening. Yeah, he is. Vanda coming in, a little bit of head movement, but Vanda's doing nothing very, very impressive, Gennaro. What's wrong? Uh, man, it's just basically being Vanda. He's there to fight. He's there to take some punches and see if he can land one of his own. He's not a technical fighter, so obviously he's just uh, a total toe action type of guy. Yeah. Uh, Julio Sr. was announcing the four previous fights for Mexican television, the ones we you saw here on Final Impact, he's taken the headsets off, dropped the <laughs> microphone, and gotten all nervous watching his son now in the corner. Will he get a full paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> he may get two. <laughs> and uh, 
with a hook, a leaping hook behind the right hand, but he's short with the jab repeatedly. It's Chavez driving him back with a combination, you know, making him rethink, restart. And Vanda not imposing anything on Chavez Jr. Yeah, because even with that punch that he landed, he was lunging, almost jumping with it. And he's not hes not getting Chavez to engage in a exchange with him, uh, Nick, to where he can land his own stuff. Right, Rich. Chavez is fighting a brilliant fight. Looks much sharper, turning him, running Vanda into occasional shots. There, Vanda tries a hook. And he got caught with him. With the left hook and right to throw him off balance. Chavez continues going forward with a good straight right. Yeah, look at Chavez trying to create that distance. Yeah, he's just using the ring. He wants to get that extension on that right hand. And maybe set up the left of the body. And Chavez Jr. has fought on some big undercards, but he's never headlined here in Las Vegas. Now this is his first time, and he wants to make a statement here. Here comes Chavez Jr. Ah, oh, Vanda smile on his face. Got one good shot in, but a big round for Jr. That was his first significant punch that he landed. As we look at Sr. That tie won't be on long. What do you think? What's your prediction? <laughs> He's sweating more than, the, than his son is right now, I think. <laughs> Julio, go back. When he comes in, just go back and take him in. Bring him in. Just give him more on the side. Give him the upper guy. Let's move you away, but let him come in. Chavez over here with the one, with him going to go with that right hand, but he trying to fade away. Goes Chavez to the attack, punches that were actually being blocked. Gennaro is an aggressive fighter yourself and a complete fighter. It, the instruction I thought was really good. You know, let Vanda come to you, but is that a tough thing to tell a natural pressure fighter to let him come to you and maybe counter that aggression? It, it is, it is, because you know, you have their emotion and... I mean, it's just basically your your style of fighting. Your style of fighting basically is to go and fight. And sometimes it's, it's kind of hard to go in there and become a counterpuncher. Yeah. Now he's letting Vanda come to him. And they're, they're giving him good, good instructions. Yes, I, I like it too. Watch for the left hook to the body. Oh, nice. Very focused. Chavez Jr. On the right is Matt Vanda trying to make... Trying to engage uh, Junior effectively, but he really, as you said, Rich, he's had one solid shot this entire fight. It's early, but Vanda can't blow these early rounds. He's got to start putting something together effectively, offensively. Now Chavez is starting to move him back again. Yeah, nice left hook on the way out. And the fight should be the other way around. Matt Vaughn is supposed to be the one putting the pressure, making Chavez throw punches to see how good of a condition he's in tonight. All right. Now they're not punching his way in. Now he'll try. I think he's aware that the Chavez is trying to lure him into a trap, so he's a little bit wary as he's going in. Yeah. Of just really letting go. Oh, nice right hand from Vanda, and then he tried to clean up with a left hook, but here comes a hook back from Chavez Jr. Good right hand over the top. Left hook to the kidney. Good work to the, you know, he's working good up and down, bottom and top. He's looking sharp. For those of you seeing Chavez for the first time, you can see that he's different than his dad. I mean, he's much lankier. He uses the ring more, uh, much taller, of course. But that left hook to the body looks awfully familiar. Rich, with that name, I don't <laughs> think anybody's time. seen him for the first time. They've seen it probably every round of every fight from Junior. You see now, look at the way Chavez throws his jab. Oh. He'll throw that jab and he'll bring it down instead of bringing it back to the top. Bad, bad idea, but then that third punch, that hook to the body is open for him. Van has been very ineffective offensively, walked into a right hand there. Chavez sees very well. Now watch when he throws the jab. Look where he brings yep. the hand, left hand down. Good observation. you bring that left hand down every time he throws the jab. And there's really no reason for it unless he's looking to cock it and throw that hook to the body. You know, somebody with good power and some more experience than Ronda is going to pick up on that. Yeah, really quick. that right hand counter. Vanda coming forward. Ah, uh, now a stiff jab from him. 
He needs more of those. He's walking down, Junior, now trying to rumble with him a little bit. That's one, one thing that was very surprising in the first fight, Nick, was that he, Vander was able to reach Chavez with Jack. Yeah, he got hit on the way out there as Chavez Jr. is sweeping this rematch. All right, here in Las Vegas, Mandalay Bay, a Saturday night. Let's listen There you go. You gotta start snapping your punches, they're just pushing them, okay? Start putting them together a little more, even if you're hitting his arm. You're throwing, you're throwing, and then he's coming back at you. Be ready, okay? Here we see the one, two. Good uppercut lift to the body right there by Chavez, making Mana kind of drop his hands and step back. Right, and as you see, he's landing that left hook to the body, not just when they're inside, but he's actually landing it from long range. Oh, I, I suspect Van is going to have to try to pick it up right now. Seriously, yeah, this is textbook Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. has dominated through three. All right, adjustment time for Matt Van de Gennaro. Make it a street fight. Continue going forward. Let your hands go. You're not going to win a fight like this. Yeah, you're right. You gotta, you gotta just expose Junior and take him to deep waters, and we're talking about with heavy waves. And throw him off balance. Chavez has got a real good rhythm right now. He's got to rough him up, you know, throw him into the ropes, the, get right. him off balance. He said he would. Tackle him down if you have to. Throw him down, get him mad, get him on the Make him make mistakes that you can probably counter off him. Well, He's Vanda a kid. Vanda Land in those single shots, almost acting surprised when he when he hits the mark. You're right, he is a kid. He should, Ben has got more experience. Yeah, you know, you utilize a, a little dirty tactic here and there, you know? Yeah, I shouldn't speak so soon. Chavez already 39th fight. <laughs> ah, here comes. But I don't think he's ever been tossed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now Ben is trying to get that right hand work and trying to land it. But he's not, he's just holding his left arm. There's the jab. I think Ben is a, Squat down a little bit more and slip some shots, you know. Ah. Move, move that head, move the upper body a little bit. He's trying to catch and counter now, but Chavez is intent to walk him into shots. Chavez turning him. Stuffs the jab in Vanda's face. Tries that overhand right, grazes him with it. Vanda cannot get into his offensive flow. And for people who don't know the story of why this fight is happening is because a lot of people claim that I'm going to beat Chavez Jr., so that's why we're having it here. Uh, obviously, in the, in the later rounds, it looked like Vonda was taking over at the point. Absolutely. Well, if you would have seen Chavez doubled over after basically collapsing on his stool at the end of that fight. Oh, uh, good exchange there. Vanda snuck a right hand in, but Chavez fired a combination first. Now, Vanda doing some work here. He's getting to work right now. And the crowd likes it. And we, like, we, uh, we, we talked about the rematch, but you know what? We got to get credit to, to Chavez. He's here. He won the fight. He's winning the game. Absolutely. That, 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 that opportunity. I'm with you. Nice right hand and a right in return. Right. So good exchange there. Two right hands. And Vanda took it very well. That, but Vanda's working his way into the fight in this round. He was for a while as uh, Chavez was grazing the ropes. But now Chavez back center of the ring. I think the body shot kind of, kind of slowed down on that one. What do you think, Rich? I think you're right. Chavez trying to tee off now. And that was a sucker right, Vanda just hit Chavez with. Vanda beginning to feel a little bit better in there now. Oh, combination there. Vanda stands in front. And a show of respect from Vanda. He said he wanted to kick the crap out of Chavez Jr. I just, don't I just don't understand why Chavez didn't hit him when, when Vanda started looking at him. They both still looking at each other. I know you would. You wouldn't wait. Put it, don't stand up like that. Don't stop. You have to force him. Don't, get, don't just stand there. Move your waist. And throw your left. Left, left, and then pull him. Pull him with the left. Give me the gel. He's standing up for you.
Chavez over here covering it up. Vanda over here throwing wild hail makers. Messi good right hand right there by Junior. But Vanda answered right back. I tell you, there were some excellent exchanges in the round. Vanda might be able to make a case for winning that round. And I'm sure felt much more encouraged when he walked back to his corner. Chavez Jr., though, is not a one-dimensional guy. Well, he got poked with a couple of jabs there. He's shown that right hand repeatedly can hit the mark. That overhand right, and of course he's got that left hook to the body, but he's not a, a one-trick pony offensively. That last round was the first round that Vanda landed in double figures. He landed 15 to 47, 32%, not bad. Chavez landed 16, Vanda 15 in that round. So. Well, as we approach the halfway mark, Rich, Vanda's got to crank it up. And as Gennaro said, take some chances to create some opportunities. That's a little dance move. I'm not sure there. what that move was. Well, <laughs> that was an East St. Paul special. <laughs> Jersey Joe Walcott never used that one. <laughs> I don't think he needed that one. <laughs> and they're walking in, but not punching. Well, he's trying, he's trying to be aware with the counter punches that uh, Chavez Jr. has actually been doing with that lift, which actually has been working very well. Combination from Chavez Jr. He rips a right hand to the body. Looked like that could have sagged uh, Vanda a little bit, taking some air out of him. Nope, back comes Vanda trying to flick that jab in Chavez Jr.'s face. I would have loved, loved to see that right hand if Vanda would have let it go after that double jab, miss. Yep. I don't know why Chavez Jr.'s on the rope so much. Now he'll attack, center of the ring. Hook right hand, not between the shots, but volume punching from Chavez Jr. Not enough firepower from Vanda. Chavez, you hear it loud and clear. Well, he ran in with that one. I think I think that Vanda's definitely the heaviest tattooed <laughs> fighter in pro boxing yeah. today. And he got that fir the first one. He said it's a, I think a leprechaun from uh, the his father. Yeah, his house. mother. His mother took him when he was 15 years old. Well, right now, Chavez was doing pretty good combinations up the middle with uppercuts. I was waiting for that lift to the body, which is something that he's famous for, but he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't throw it. Uh, Vanda walking into shots there. He's just not busy enough, certainly not effective enough offensively. He's trying to walk down Chavez, but not throwing enough shots. Walking to him. Chavez lets his hands go a little bit there. That finishing right hand landed Chavez backing up interesting inviting him in as they said in his corner I would like to see that jab of Vanda go to the chest and not to the head all the time yeah halfway home here in Las Vegas His final impact, Top Rank presents, here from Mandalay. You gotta put them together, man. You gotta put them together. You hear? Did you get to the corner? Flurry, flurry. Oh, don't ever do that. You're just throwing your arms again. Drop your knees and punch like you know how. My top is really nice in that jab, that good, red, good left uppercut. He missed those other two shots there with good, with good intentions, though. You see Chavez using the jab to set everything up here. After that jab, Vanda covered up, and then he was able to go to work. And it was a much, much better round for Julio. I got a real good bounce back round from, uh, you know, a very competitive round four. Right, Rich. And, you know, the advice in Vanda's corner, he got a flurry. Absolutely. This guy's not a hellacious puncher. He's got to put his punches together. He's got to ramp up the uh, volume on his, uh, on his offense. I mean, he's got to double it. He has to. He has to go in there and, and make Chavez defend himself more. He's leaving Chavez. Watch what what Vanda's going to do. He's leaving him to be for, get prepared. I mean, I mean, he's letting him set up for everything. Yeah, he's respecting Chavez's countering ability, as you guys touched on. Chavez making the play there. And the lands the left. But there's single shots from him. Over the top of the right goes Chavez Jr. followed by a hook to the body as he steps to the side. 
and reloads. Something that I think I think his uh, bottom corner people should do. You know what? It's not working this way. Why don't we switch? Why don't we move back and have Chavez ah, come and attack us and see if we can counter punch him? What do you think, Rich? I don't know if he can fight that way. I know in the first fight when he was moving forward was when he was doing his best work. When he was moving backwards, it wasn't working. I agree with you. But you may throw Chavez off his game plan if you actually have him come to you. You know, maybe if he goes to his back to the ropes, Chavez would come in on him and then he could at least exchange with him. But Chavez looks determined to keep this fight a long-range fight. Yeah, he's just dictating this fight. And one of the things I always liked about Vanda, he's an exciting action fighter. And I haven't seen it this fight. And yeah, it's, I, I think it has a lot to do with the technique and the, the strategy that Chavez Jr. is imposing on this fight. You know, that first fight, they weren't just involved in hellacious exchanges. They're not yeah. having them. Is he respecting Chavez a little too much? I think so. I think he's expe uh, respecting too much of that counter punches. But I also think that uh, the Chavez is actually making the fight more difficult for Ronda. I agree. And uh, that sneaky right lead has landed twice now. It's very quick. He throws it right from the shoulder, Nick, and it gets there in a hurry. Yeah, and look, he's landing the lefts now as Chavez has stopped putting punches together. So Vanda trying to walk him down, but a little crossover defense. Chavez trying to come back with something. I, I, I like what Vanda was doing. Don't throw the jab no more. Sneak that little right hand in there once in a while. Yeah, work twice. Crowd wants more action. And I know why Vanda is kind of hesitating to leave with the right, and it's because of that lift of the body. Right? There you go. Vanda walking, walking to him. Uh, he tries to sink a hook to the body. But we haven't seen many body shots from Matt Vanda. Good nice hand. right hand again. Yeah. And Junior was hurt, it looked like. Well, maybe not. Now he smiles at him. No shot. No chance. Well, I don't know about that. That throat slitting measure from Van. That wasn't that good. <laughs> Get your hand. Get your leg down. Take deep breath. There you go. Nice and relaxed. There you go. Now start putting them together. Bring your feet a little better with you. Yeah. He's getting tired. He's slowing down now. When he throws that wide hook, you're the catcher return. Van Der going forward. A good right hand. A lead right hand. There's another right hand. Afterwards, he couldn't land another good shot until four or five shots missed. And let's see, really, now Julio did take a good one there. But he's, look at him ducking and dodging there. He's, he's doing a pretty good job of getting away from these punches. Yeah. I was wrong. Didn't didn't seem to hurt him at all. You have to win this round, Julio. You have to win this round. Come on. It's apparent Chavez Jr.'s trainer wants to pull his guy back in the fight. He just needs to do that. You know, just wake him up a little bit, huh, Gennaro? It looks like that, but I, I don't know. I mean, the fight is, you know, it, it's working pretty good, but Mano's not actually throwing that many shots. Chavez claiming that he got hit with a low blow there. Rich, you got to you get, give anything to Vanda lately? Yeah, I gave him that last round. I gave him that last round, actually, and uh, he, he did land... He had 10 punches that landed in the last minute. So that's his best yeah. minute of fighting in this. In yeah, this that fight. would win it for him. I agree. There we see the stats through six. And that re leading right hand is actually working for him. Uh, Vandal stayed on the ropes, dared Chavez to go after him, and Chavez obliged. He opened up with a combination. If you're going to invite him in to hit, and he comes to you on the ropes, you're going to have to exchange. You want to yeah. get him engaged right then. There you go. But he's trying to do it now in the middle of the ring. Chavez drives Vanda back. Vanda tries a hook of his own, and Robert Bird warns Vanda to watch his head and keep his shots up. Right hands, they exchange, or left hand from a Vanda in return. And Vanda trying to rip with a right hand. Uppercut lands. Chavez got to get a little busier here. There's cracking to the body. Combination from Chavez Jr. Chavez looking to unload that hook again. He's fighting alone now. It looks like he wants to go to the body. Instead, he's eating punches. Good combination by Vonda. Vonda yeah, doing very well on the top. 
Like right there, I would I would have loved to see Von the counter punch. You know, you're blocking those shots, counter yeah. Travis right away. He's, He's looking, looking for that lead short right, right hand from Van der Landed. Chavez content. He wants to set up that hook to the body, it looks like. Good jab. He's taking too much, too many unnecessary shots, it looks like to me. Vanda fell way behind in this fight again, but he's trying to this fight round. from behind yeah. again. Yeah. And he's doing very well with those little short right hands. And obviously, they're good one. Yeah. Two way exchange. Obviously, Chavez looks in better shape this time than he was in the last one. Yeah. Watch your head. Watch your head. Watch good your head. two way action in this seventh. Vanda with a little look. Right hand from Chavez as he read that move perfectly. And Vanda comes right back with the right hand of his own. <laughs> Chavez trying to dial it up a little bit. Why is he fighting so low? Uh, he's I'm dipping, dipping like he wants to throw the hook. I think he's looking for that body shot. Yeah. He wants to work inside. He unloads a combination. Good, no, good. Here comes Vanda. Very close round. The most spirited two-way action of the fight. Oh, yeah. You have to put more pressure, Julio. This round was kind of even. You have to attack him now. Not to happen. Give him water. Julio. Pressure, Julio. Pressure. You have to pressure, Julio. Put your strength against him. Pressure him. Don't just stand there. Don't just stand there. Just hit him everywhere. You gotta quickly take three more rounds. Come on. Two more punch, two more rounds to pull this one out, man. You gotta All right, two more fucking rounds. You gotta kick his ass. You gotta kick his ass is what he just told him. But I love Rodolfo Chavez's uh, advice to Julio Jr. Continue hitting him. I mean, you got to ramp it up, but you got to put more pressure on him. By the way, Julio Sr. has been far calmer in this fight than he, than he was. Either that or he passed out. <laughs> he's right in front of us, and yeah, he, yeah. he has his eyes wide open. Not much, uh, not much of a screamer this time. Oh, right, right hand left to the body as Chavez Jr. goes into action. Flush right hand. Vanda says, I could take it, but this is what Chavez Jr.'s needed to do and what his corners implored him to do. Put the heat on and keep it on. He's doing very well. He's doing good. He's, he's landing those overhand rights. He doesn't get ahead of himself. He very places those shots beautifully, Rich. Yeah. He's looking actually for pinpoint punches. Right. He's actually think, he's being a thinking fighter in there, thinking about what he wants to do. Yeah, that was an impressive 30 seconds, but back slugs Vanda. Chavez tried a right cross to the body that time. I would like to see Matt Vanda throw him more, some body shots, you know. Yeah, yeah very rare. That you're throwing everything to the face, but you're going to hold body there. No doubt. In the eighth, scheduled for ten. Vanda knows he's playing catch-up. He's got to get busier. Will himself into the next gear if he has another gear. And that's a big question. And that gear right there might have, the gear that yeah. you're looking for, might have just oh, got yeah. damaged right there with that body, body shot. Body shot, exactly. And they really let Chavez take the play away from him in the first minute of this round. Absolutely. Chavez measures him, wraps a combination. Back comes Vanda, swinging full force. Chavez with a jab to the stomach. Catches those shots, turns, but elects not to fire. And the father is out there screaming, Chavez Sr. screaming, telling him not to wait. Don't wait for him. And you would agree, huh? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Here comes Chavez Jr. Boy, Vanda didn't answer back, though. Yeah, he just yeah. slid off the ropes. He looked like uh, he took some flush shots. He's, he's uh, the father's over here screaming, saying, put pressure on him. <laughs> but it looked like he's talking to Vanda, because Vanda's the one who's putting pressure on this yeah, right exactly. now. Exactly. Crowd really enjoying this. We hope you are at home. Our main event, the rematch. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. on the left. Matt Vanda on the right. Chavez Jr. tries to double the hook. 
We haven't seen much of that tonight. There's a body shot from Vanda. Yeah, he should have been doing that from the first round. And Chavez leaning in. Vanda could yeah. try to catch him in an uppercut. With a, with a short little right. Like right now, he's caught him with some good one-two punches right there. So back comes Matt Vanda when you think he was out of this round. Good left hook right there. Good right cross. Yeah. Chavez finishing up pretty good right here. Yeah, he finishes this round beautifully to take it, I would think. What they going back to the there. bell. What were they, they were prescient. They realized. <laughs> apparently, they realized the bell was going to ring. Did both of them get hit that they heard bells ringing. Because, I mean, normally when you turn your back, you get disqualified. Two rounds. And knock them off. How you feel? <laughs> Bring your feet and punch. You're just arm punching. You're just throwing one punch at a time. Go out there, drop your knees, and throw your one-two as hard as you can. I don't care where you hit him in here, but drop your knees and throw it hard. He's not respecting you. He's playing with you, man. He's playing with you. He's you letting him. Don't. Chavez going forward. Look at wow. that overhand right. Good. Overhand right with the body shot. This straight right, right here. Man, it wasn't through, though. He did answer back in the round. He came back, tried hard, but tried those basically was putting those combinations together. There's a pretty good little uppercut that uh, Vanda landed, but uh, Chavez, again, you know, one thing for sure, he's not wilting in this fight the way no. he did in uh, the previous but, You know, really interesting two-way action. It's a competitive fight, albeit I would have Chavez comfortably ahead. I don't like the instructions that they're giving Vanda up in this corner. Time about the, the boy is not giving him respect. It's Forget a fight. About it. You're losing the yeah. fight. Don't talk about respect. Don't try to get respect no more. Go in there and try to get the knockout. There you go. You don't need to tell me, oh, you know what? I have to go in there for respect. Oh, right hand from Chavez Jr. Now he's moving in. Hands down, Vanda. Vanda soaking up punishment. He's full of fight. Let's see if it turns in to a firefight. Chavez really controlled, huh, Rich? He'll just back off and start again. Well, he's fighting a great fight within the geometry of the ring. Yes. He's, he's using it completely. He's turning Vanda. He's knowing when to go uh, into a, a long-distance fight, and now he's willing a couple of times in these last few rounds to exchange on the inside. Yeah, he'll open up, but never get ahead of himself. There's the combination. And this is a very clean fight. For a lot of people, you know, it's, it's a very clean fight. Well, the only thing you get here is a little rubber heads here and there. But other than that, it's very clean. Not now clinches, you know, a little bang of heads here. Yeah, look at Vanda come back. And now zero punishment as Chavez Jr. unloads with a four-punch combination. Vanda with his hands now walking in. Now a cover-up. He's got a real tight offense, a defense there, but he needs offense. Big time. Oh, he needs it very badly, too, right now. Well, he needs to make something dramatic happen, but frankly, Chavez is the guy landing the sharp yeah. and heavier blows. He, exactly right. He's the heavier puncher. Good right hand. Effective. Good jab at the Vermont. That comes Chavez with his, with his action. Chavez looking good. Content. Not going to try to walk Vanda down. Walk him into punches. Be first. Be last. Tries a hook, goes upstairs with the right hand. Chavez Jr. with his back to us on the ropes here. Vanda did a good job of cutting off his escape rope that time. He finally cut the ring off and kept him pinned against the rope. No, right. yeah. Finally, he threw a straight right to the body. Chavez hammers back with a, not much on those shots, but Vanda walking in now. Half a minute to go in this ninth round, and then they'll be one to go. Rich, you hit on it. You know, the harder puncher has been Chavez. And he's been the more effective. He's been the, the busier. But here comes Vanda. Well, he better let those hands go for the next three, three minutes and ten seconds that there is left for him. Chavez Jr. gives the crowd something to chew on. Oh, man, did he wind up with that one. <laughs> one to go. Crowd loving it. Hope you are. Let's listen in. Round. You got to keep that elbow in when he hooks. Return with that four. Catch him, catch him with that, and knock him out. Last round. Turn it on. Just fucking fight, man. Just fight, right? Fight.
Turn that horse around. You have to win this round, Julio. You? you have to win this round. Your father is talking to you, Julio. Move your waist. Put your hands up. Put pressure on him. Interesting Rich, that he would remind Junior that Senior is talking to him. A lot of voices in that corner. Wow. <laughs> and the main one is the dad. But I like that Rodolfo Chavez told me you got to win this round. Forget about backing up. You know, it's very important, too. Uh, he's felt Banda's power. And I don't think Banda's a heavy hitter. We, we all agree on that. And I think he's got to finish this fight dynamically, impressively. Uh, Keep the momentum. Here comes Banda, though. Wow, he's unloading with everything. You got to do it. You're mm -hmm. behind. You're just the last round. You got three. You got two minutes and a half to try to finish this fight. I agree. You got to be first, and then you got, or you got a counter here. And that's their look at, you know, block and counter and knock them out, huh? You got to do it. This is the fight that Banda has to do right now. Get in there and slug it out. Hopefully, you can land a shot that'll hurt Chavez and maybe finish the fight. If not, you know, you're gonna you're gonna fight for the last three, two minutes of this. And it's the other way around. Chavez is the one that's doing this now. And Chavez is claiming he has a pass and he got hit with the right hand. Oh, oh. good. Slug, slug face between these two guys. Hey, this is just what Vanda wants. Wow, they're in a slug fest now. He's, he's he really should have made it happen earlier, though. And this is what he should have done. This is what him. he should have done. Exactly. Easy for us to say. He's but this is not a guy who's hesitant. He's not afraid to take shots, even if he doesn't have heavy-duty Major League firepower. Now, this is what he wants. And we may yet get drama in this tenth round, as there was in the first fight. There yeah. we go. Let's see who bites down here. And Vanda looks to be tired. Oh, I think this finish is awfully important for his John arm. S. Jr. Yeah, his arms are just... You tired. I mean, you go look at his punches. They're not quick as much more. Chavez Jr. getting the shot, reining in shots now. I think he's got to finish big, finish impressively to make a closing statement that I, I feel he needs. I think the dad is going to get mad at his son for <laughs> for dancing and putting those hands out. Because I never saw Chavez do that when he was fighting. I never saw Chavez Jr. do it. Uh, eight straight punches. We've got 50 seconds to go. Matt Vandal walking forward. Needs a miracle. Chavez coming to him now. Watch the flurry. Back with a body shot comes Vanda. Half minute to go in the fight. You know, these two guys may have trouble expressing oh. their respect for each other, but I think at least secretly deep down they both after this fight, we'll respect you. Oh, I think they have our regard, you know? He killed right up because by Vanda, obviously one was low as well, but he did catch Chavez with a kill right, a couple of kill right up the uh, We'll watch him finish here, the final 10 seconds. by all means crowd liked it Vanda congratulating the Chavez corner the corner he said he really had disdain for Chavez Jr. waving to the crowd there's the show of regard I think it was a solid solid performance for him Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. closes the show impressively show of respect you know Vanda was talking trash how he really had a big problem with Chavez's corner how he needed to really kick Chavez's tail there was respect all around here's the recap Chavez on the attack early he walks into shots but he was willing to engage Vanda from the opening bell Vanda had his moments trying to pull himself into the fight offensively 
But no doubt about it, he could not match the heavier punches of Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr., that overhand right was effective, that left to the body, there's the right, there's the left to the body. He just with more scoring shots. He inflicted more damage than Vanda did. But Vanda never stopped trying. Here we see the finish. It was a flurry. And uh, Gennaro, you have some stats to substantiate. Yeah, punch in the 10th round that we just saw right now. It was Chavez. Well, let's, let's go with Lupe Let's wait and let's go to Lupe Contreras for the official word now. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, the official scorecard reads as follows. That was Caballeros después de 10 asaltos. Esta es la decisión oficial. Dick Houck scores about 99 to 91. Dick Houck anotó 99 a 91. Dave Moretti, 97 a 93. Dave Moretti, 97 a 93, 97 to 93. Y Glenn Trowbridge anotó. 98 a 92. Judge Trowbridge scores it 98 to 92. For the winner, by way of unanimous decision, para el vencedor por decisión unánime, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. It was impossible to argue with those scorecards. Chavez Jr., the clear winner here, and Gennaro, he acquitted himself nicely. Yes, he did. This time he finished off strong. He didn't look tired. He looked like he was well prepared, and he just confused Matt Wanda throughout the whole fight. He outclassed him, and I, and I thought going in, yeah, there were really legitimate questions that this guy could have been a fraud. Here we see, but not, or he could have gotten exposed by Vanda. In the first fight, we see how close it was here. Vanda with a better connect rate. That was four months ago. But tonight in Las Vegas, it was Chavez Jr. with a convincing win. He is with our Rich Murata now. Thank you, Nick. Ricardo Jimenez will translate for us. Julio, congratulations on this uh, victory tonight. I know it must mean a lot to you. Significa mucho para ti la pelea. Sí, hubo mucha controversia conforme a mi primera victoria. Creo que hoy demostré, boxeé los 10 rounds y demostré que no fueron pretextos, sino una realidad. Y hoy lo demostré. I showed tonight by boxing the way I did tonight for 10 good rounds. And last, and last time out, everybody knows I was sick now. It seemed as though at times you were actually willing to invite him in so the, and, and, and trap him at, at times. Lo querías que vinieras a ti, querías que poderlo conectar. Sí, claro, le cambié la pelea. Él pensó que iba a ser lo mismo de la primera pelea y se las cambié. Le di una prueba de su propio chocolate. I did, uh, I did change it up. I wanted him to see a whole different uh, thing that he saw last time and I, I think I showed it tonight. Tell us what the big difference was outside, in terms of your strategy, outside of you being healthy tonight and not sick. ¿Qué fue la diferencia, además de que no estuviste enfermo? Peleé más a distancia. Este, lo frustré un poco con mi boxeo y me fajé. Varié la pelea, hice, combiné fajarme con boxear y me resultó. I think I changed up a lot. You know, I was boxing him and then I was uh, exchanging with him and I, I was telling, I was dictating what was happening inside the ring. You told us yesterday at the fighters' meetings that you feel that you are ready for the big challenges. Is that correct? Now you want all the big challenges. Crees que estás listo para esos ratos mayores como dijiste ayer? Sí. Claro que sí. Hoy, como te dije, gané claramente la pelea y lo que venga el año que viene, estamos listos para eso. Gracias a toda la gente mexicana que vino a Las Vegas. Viva México! One final thing, Julio. You were able to keep your dad very calm tonight. He wasn't as excited in the corner. Como <laughs> pasaba más tranquilo en esta pelea. Sí, la pelea. Pienso que hizo una buena pelea, se dio cuenta. Veníamos bien preparados, estábamos bien. Y por eso él es que él estuvo contento y y tranquilo. I think he was very happy to see the strategy was working, everything we worked on, and uh, that was good for him tonight. Well, congratulations. Great fight tonight, Julio. We'll watch you march on. We'll throw it back to ringside Nick with Matt Vanda came up to me and said, I'll be the first guy to admit he got me tonight. Overwhelming, well, I should say a solid performance from Julio Cesar Chavez.
Here's the numbers. Vanda Chavez won. You see that Vanda outworked uh, more effectively uh, Chavez Jr. Chavez Jr. said he was sick that day, had a fever that night, was not into it in Mexico. Tonight here in Las Vegas, a different story. Chavez Jr., his connect rate not equal to Vanda, but he, Gennaro, definitely was more effective, put the hurt on Vanda with more powerful shots.